What is ITC and what do you do? Well, ITC is the nation's uh, first and only independent transmission company. And why independent is because we are not in the energy market. Our job is to facilitate the market. What I try to tell people about that is, is imagine that uh, you're flying in an airline or you're in the airline business and you find out when you come into Detroit Metro Airport that uh, the airport is owned by Northwest Airlines, only you're flying on an American flight. Do you think you're going to get the same treatment? Uh, independence in the energy business, especially when you're a transporter, is very important. That gives you the customer access to the kind of power you want uninhibited. What is the future for renewable energy? I, I truly believe uh, that if we stay focused, that it can take us to places where we never dreamed possible. Uh, as a country and as a state, we're an energy-consuming country, we're an energy-consuming state. Our lifestyles are centered around cheap energy. My belief is becoming more efficient. We can enjoy our life just exactly the way we had it, but we just use less energy. And that, that creates a tremendous number of jobs. Imagine all the homes that we have to modernize. There's, there's literally hundreds and thousands, millions of homes. We have to start to use less carbon in our, in our production of energy. In our transportation of energy, we have to become more efficient. We, we absolutely, as a country, are a wasteful country when it comes to efficiency. And, and we're the most wasteful country in the world and the highest consuming country in the world. That is not sustainable. In a world economy, it is just not sustainable. Is sustainability sustainable? Well, um, you know, I've been down this road quite a few times. Remember that the Department of Energy was created under Jimmy Carter with the idea that we were going to become energy independent. And uh, here we are, uh, you know, some 30 years later, and we haven't got there. I believe that if we had to have the leadership uh, in the government to keep us focused, because we are a short, focused country, uh, we like results quick, and this is not a results quick uh, event. Uh, we have to transform all of the energy production in this country. That's not going to happen overnight. But I believe and I think others believe that energy independence and sustainability is achievable. We have to do it with, with a passion, uh, and we have to do it because we have to have energy for our kids and my grandkids and their grandkids. Uh, this country is so, so important, uh, and, and, I, and, and, and it's there. Uh, when I look at uh, some of the work that we're doing in the, in the, in the Midwest, in the Plain States, uh, and I see the quality of the wind and the price that we can produce it. We can produ produce wind and deliver it for less money than we can from any of the fossil fuel sources that we have today. And so here's one whose future cost is zero, whose carbon footprint is zero, and whose total out-of-the-pocket cost is less than anything we have, any technology we have today. And I just ask myself why we're not doing it. This screening of the Great Lakes podcast is produced by Michigan State University and News Talk 760 WJR for MLive.com.